Okay, Tim. Chipping. Let's talk about the setup first. Remember, chipping is nothing more than a long putt with a little wrist cock going back. Your fault is you set up pretty good, but I want you to preset your hips open. Pull this left foot a little bit off the line. You can pull back three or four inches. Okay. When you guys practice chipping, make sure you have a station on the ground, whether it's two clubs or two sticks, whatever. Just helps you with your lines. So we want 60% of the weight on the left side. We want our hands forward. You're going to pull this right foot in like you did, so it feels like the ball's kind of back in the stance, doesn't it? Really not. It's really in the same position as your left foot compared to normal. When you pull that right foot in, it gets your spine ahead of the ball, which is what you want. Now, on the downswing, we see you get totally stagnant with the body. We have to have a little turn with the hips and turn with the belly button to help you keep the handle ahead and to get your hands out of it. So as you go back, you do this part really nice. But the problem is, is you shifted the weight to the right foot. Keep the weight on the left foot when you take it back. Now, the start of the downswing should be what? The lower body just slightly turn into the target, right? That'll help your hands go. You can see your body really doesn't do much. It's all hands. And then the club kind of passes. Remember, at this point, we want the club more at that angle. You see the difference? Don't you don't flip as much. I don't mind the ten finger. You've actually got your V's going in good spots, so Chuck did a good job with that. I'm sure they weren't in the position yesterday. But the more you can make sure those hands are pulled together, the more they'll work as a team, okay? So make sure that left foot's back, make sure you're using your body. So at this point, you should have all your weight on the left foot. And you should be leaning that way, and the belly button should be turned to the target, okay? You, and remember, guys, chipping. If I've got 20% carry and 80% roll, you're going to use an 8 or a 7 iron. If you got 50% carry, 50% roll, you can use a pitching wedge. If you've got more carry than roll, like 70% carry, i got to go over a bunker and only got 30% roll, you got to use your lob wedge or sand wedge, whatever you have, okay? So, great.